Hi, I am Hans Wilhelm. And in this video, in the Life Explained series, I would like to talk about the spiritual aspects about death and dying. Now you may think, what a gloomy subject. Who wants to talk about death? We do anything in our society to suppress thoughts about death and dying, but it's only because most people have no idea what is actually taking place at that moment. And we always fear what we do not know. In many cultures, death is celebrated as the release of the soul from its earthly toil and struggle. The early Christians, for instance, respectfully celebrated this moment of transition. They knew that the soul is eternal and is now returning home to its spiritual world. They also knew that excessive mourning and grieving would only hold the soul back on its path home. Death can be a very positive and even beautiful experience for anybody who has lived by the spiritual law of love. For them it's just like a graduation day from the Earth School. Now let's have a look what actually takes place at the moment of death. Simply stated, death is the separation of the soul from its physical body. This kind of separation can happen slowly over years or very suddenly like an accident or a heart attack. It is important to know that everybody dies perfectly on time. There are no mistakes. Whether a person dies within six days, six months or 60 years, whether it is an accident or natural causes, it is all carefully orchestrated by the soul prior its incarnation. Remember, for the soul, this life on earth is not its final destination. It is merely a school or college, and some graduate early and others later. It all depends on the lessons the soul wishes to learn and to experience. But what happens now during the actual dying process? With its last breath, the soul pushes the body from itself and continues to breathe in a totally different rhythm. This process can take seconds, hours or even days. Some souls have problems letting go of the body. Even if the brain waves no longer can be measured, the soul can still be connected to the body via the information cord, which is also called in the Bible the silver cord. It is this cord which connects the soul to the body, particularly during our dream stage when we leave our body or the soul leaves the body, it is always connected with this information cord or silver cord. And when we wake up, it immediately gets, pulls the soul back into the body. Now, this is particularly important for souls that have died very suddenly and unexpectedly. Or souls that cannot accept the fact that it, they are not really dead, as they had anticipated. They now discover that they are still alive and they don't know where to go or what to do next. And out of their confusion, they don't want to let go of their physical body, which is the only identity they know. And they may cling to this lifeless body. Now let's think about for this for a moment, particularly for anybody who considers donating their organs. The moment the medical staff sees that the person is a flatliner, meaning that there is no more brain activity, they rip open the physical body and take out all the organs they want to use. This is fine if the soul is no longer connected to the body, but if it is still connected, the soul will feel the excruciating pain connected with such brutal process. Every bit of it. Now, in some cases, the soul may even be tied to the recipient of its organ for years to come. Only when the silver cord has been totally cut, the soul has then detached itself totally from the body. Then nothing ties the soul to its mortal shell. And for a time it may linger close to its physical body that has been its vehicle for so many years. And it is helpful to remember that at this stage the soul can also hear every word spoken and perceive every thought of people present in the room. Now, souls that have lived consciously and have not wasted their earthly life may now experience sort of a bridge of light forming for them. And they have the desire to cross it. 
This light is growing intensely stronger and brighter at the other end. It is the radiation of the guardian being that accompanied the soul and now continues to guide the soul back to the light. Here it may be greeted by some of its relatives or friends who had died before. And the soul feels like waking up from a dream. The new environment feels far more real than the earthly life they left behind. This is how it usually is. And it's very beautiful and nothing to be afraid of. You and I have done it many, many times before. But in part two, I will speak about souls who have not lived to their highest potential. For them, the dying experience can be very different and very difficult. I think you will find it interesting and I hope to see you there.